Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about Viome Performance Test Edge, which is a performance testing tool for BMC Remedy. Let us quickly see why we need performance testing. One of the fundamental reasons why it is needed is to identify system responsiveness and system stability. Also in certain business activities which warrant performance benchmark. Consider that for a particular remedy instance, the identified peak load is 420 create transactions, 900 update transactions and 1200 search transactions per hour for incidents. Transaction in this context means the complete operation for creating an incident, modifying an incident and searching for it. We are assuming here that one transaction when carried out through the test script takes at least one minute. As we can see in the table, for create test case, maximum number of executions per user per hour is 60. So to achieve peak load of 420, minimum 7 users are required. Workload is calculated based on following two parameters, rate of business transactions and number of users carrying out those transactions. The approach we use for performance testing by Viome Performance Test Edge is as simple as recording HTTP traffic while executing use cases in a browser and then playing it back after parameterization. Now I will demonstrate a simple use case of create user through user form. We will open our Viome Performance Test Edge. The first thing we need to do is add an HTTP proxy server under Workbench. This under here in type you select the appropriate ARS version. For us it is ARS 8.0. I have already created a thread group create user under test plan uh, and I've added a HTTP cookie manager. I'll explain why it has been added. And uh, in target controller I would point it to test plan create user so that all our HTTP requests are saved under this thread group. Now we will go to our browser and we will set the proxy settings on the browser. So just set a manual proxy configuration to localhost 8080. Now before we hit the mid-tier URL you need to start the proxy server in Viome Performance Test Edge. So we will start this and hit the mid-tier URL. Now in our tool we can see that the back channels or the HTTP requests have been recorded under create user. We will log in as demo user. Navigate through AR system administration console application users new request. We will give a username of Viome Perf Test Edge. Same for full name and license type as floating and we will just save this request. Back to our testing tool. Here we can see a back channel set entry list. Viome Performance Test Edge makes sure that all back channels which need to be parameterized appear in XML format as opposed to raw back channel request. So because of this uh, it is easier to parameterize and here we can see the login name, the full name and the license type. So uh, for playing it back we need to change uh, these names so that it won't violate any database constraint. So we will just update this and close and we need to play it back. So to play it back we need an HTTP cookie manager which I had added before which basically maintains the session between the HTTP requests. So just play this. I don't want to save the test plan and it has been run. So we can go back to our mid-tier search for Viome Perf Test Edge. You see two entries here. The first one is created while recording the uh, script and the second one is while pa after parameterizing and playing it back. This was a simple example. Uh, similarly, we have created a test suit with create incident, search incident and modify incident. 
so I'll just run this and I'll explain what we have done here so you click on start again so it's just started running uh, so to run this test suite we need to modify some parameters like hostname AR server port protocol and some of the important parameters here are hold time hold time is uh, nothing but uh, the total amount of time where all the users are hitting the mid tier at the same time so it's like in our case we have 50 users uh, spread across all these uh, three test scripts and these will uh, all these 50 users will be held for 600 seconds that is for 10 minutes the next is a ramp up time uh, we have given it as 150 seconds so it is two and a half minutes so all our 50 users will ramp up and reach a steady state in two and a half minutes. The next is G timer, which is a think time. Uh, that is a time which for which the user pauses during a transaction. And this is a directory where the test results are being stored. We will see a create incident now and active threads over time. Over here, you can see the users are gradually increasing and it keeps on increasing till two and a half minutes and we have 10 users here as you can see we have 10 users allocated for creating an incident through IM console so after two and a half minutes it reaches uh, to a steady state for and it will hold that steady state for 10 minutes and then drop down another important uh, listener uh, which we use is a perfmon matrix here we list down all the host or IP addresses of our servers so in our setup we have got uh, two servers one is for the database and one is for the mid tier and here you can see localhost which monitors the CPU and memory of the current machine which is running this tool so uh, in this we can measure the performance of the CPU and memory performance of your uh, controller and agents in case of distributed testing and your servers the next is a response time which gives you a response time for each uh, HTTP request we can even have the aggregated one so it gives you the overall response time and there's a summary report which again has got all the HTTP requests with average uh, response time minimum maximum response times then the standard deviation error percentage throughput etc and all these files can be uh, saved in a CSV format or JTL format which can be used later for uh, reporting purposes now we can go back to active threads and see after two and a half minutes um, it is holding a state of 10 users for create incident similarly it will be holding for uh, search and modify itself So this test will run uh, for 10 minutes. Uh, by that time, I will explain uh, you some basic concept of parameterization. Uh, we take the example of create incident. So while recording a create incident, it records including the incident ID, the internal incident ID, and the GUID. Uh, so when you need, when we play it back, you need to parameterize these values. So what we have done is we have uh, noted the uh, HTTP uh, request where in who, which response we get the GUID and the incident ID we have extracted these uh, using regular expression extractor and put it into specific uh, variables and these variables have been replaced in set entry list of uh, while creating an incident so you can see here that the GS ID has been uh, replaced this was originally the incident ID so this is how when you play it back it takes runtime variables and then uh, replaces it at runtime and it creates incidents uh, here we can see after 10 minutes the user has users have started dropping or ramping down and in summary report we can see that the users started logging out here so this is all from this demo uh, for more information on VM performance test edge uh, please 
contact Viom Labs. Thank you.